Hey everyone, Richard Roy Two here. This is a response to Mojo Cyber's tribute to the strongly recommending check it out. Video that he put up, the profit motive is the culprit. In a certain respect, you could say that. But I think the real honest to goodness problem is not necessarily the profit motive because I don't see a problem with being motivated to improve your state of existence. What I see as a real problem is the inversion of the primacy of the function of the government. Where I see the primacy of the function of government as a custodian of society to make sure that people can interact without fear of violence being coerced. That is what I think it should be. So far what I've seen from drastic changes from the beginning when they used to hail freedom, liberty, pursuit of happiness, sovereignty of the individual as privacy. They've been switched around to things like advancement, growth, security, more, bigger, better. And these as a primacy has been an excuse for whatever kind of legal infrastructure or judicial infrastructure that's been put in place is completely torn apart in reference to what was originally thought the function of government to be. <sighs> My idea of the 99% Yes, it is still trying to draw people into it to say, please, bring yourself to this cause. And that's what I'd like to see. <sighs> and many are saying, what is this cause? You need to bring yourself to it in order to define it for yourself. If you can define it for yourself, you will be involved. You will be part of it. If you let somebody else define it for you, you won't be part of it just be a follower and it's I, I really don't think it's desired to have followers I think it's designed to bring leaders because I think we all need to be leaders leaders of our own life leaders where we can say Yes, this is right. This is wrong. I know it. I feel it. It's in me to say that, to see it. Instead of looking for a book or an authority figure to t tell you what's right and what's wrong, we have it within us to be able to decide those things. We've lost a lot of that thanks to the uh, homogenized education that we seem to be getting. Homogenized, pasteurized, sterilized. To the point that all you can do is function for the good of bringing profit to somebody, unfortunately. Very sad state of affairs. An economic system that was once put in place to say simply that you are free to exchange whatever you want, with whom you want, when you want, the amount that you want, as long as both parties are agreeable to it, has basically vanished as someone else is taking control and saying, we must live for the economy, and the economy must expand and grow, and without our expansion and growth, it will collapse. And I don't buy that crap. All it is is a, another one of those motivational programs to try to get everybody to create profit for somebody. Buy my crap. Buy my crap. Buy my crap. Whether you need it or not, 
Everybody else has it. You gotta have to want it too. Yes. We all must build our egos on top of everybody else's egos. Must we? Well, welcome to my humble life. I don't have the latest gadgets. I have an old, outdated computer. <laughs> I remember when you had this little thing that was a calculator and you did one plus one. <laughs> remember the abacus? <laughs> now everybody drives around in these big honking four by fours that they don't use for four wheeling. I mean, why should you have to? All the robes are paved with dead bodies. <sighs> At least they're paved with money anyway. Please, people, move close to your jobs. Stop spending money unnecessarily. Stop wanting things that the markets are trying to get you to want for no reason whatsoever. Stop trying to get the latest gadget. I see people wandering around with five different bloody phones. Oy. Why? This one does this. I was an app for that. Go <laughs> on, people. Um, must be. Mu mu must we want? what they want us to want or can we figure out what we want for ourselves we need leaders occupy occupy your own mind there's the idea occupy here huh? 